This is example relative humidity 1. A room with 4,000 meters cubed is at temperature 10 degrees Celsius and a relative humidity of 40%. What mass of steam vapor must be added to the room to bring it to a temperature of 14 degrees Celsius and a relative humidity of 60%? So we're looking for a mass. So we need to know the mass at time zero. We need to know the mass at the end. And what we're looking for will be the difference in the two masses. This is what we want. And what do we know? Well, we know the volume. We don't have any pressures. How would we get pressure? We would have to look up what does relative humidity mean? Well, relative humidity is equal to the pressure divided by the, what's called the saturated vapor pressure. P star is always dependent upon temperature and it usually comes from tables so we need to go get a table for that and so we have the relative humidity if we have a value for this so from here we can get our pressure. So let's go find a table. So here is a table we see it's uh, on degrees Celsius and kilopascally. So we have to remember that. Now, what do we have if we have P and, and V? We will use the, the ideal gas law. So that is PV equals NRT. And we know that R is equal to 8.3145. Pascal meters cubed versus mole Kelvin. So that's the unit we want here. We know that we can get use N to get M. So what is the equation for that? M equals M times N, where M is the molar mass of water, and N will be what we calculate here. So what do we have? We have M equals the molar mass of water times N, N is PV over RT, and we have that equals the molar mass of water, and P is equal to how much? R times P vapor pressure times the volume over RT. So we can calculate this for both of our times, the beginning time and the end time. Okay, so here we are relatively organized. This is good for both M0 and ME. What else is good? M of H2O is 18 grams per mole. That's good for both, and the volume is good for both. Volume equal to 4,000 meters cubed is good for both. So let's calculate M0. M0 equals 18 grams per mole. R is 40%, so 0 0.4. There's no unit on that. P star 0. What was the temperature? 10 degrees. 10 degrees, 1.2 kilopascals. 1.2 kilopascal. And then we have V equals 4,000 meters cubed are 8.3145. That's just pascals. Meters cubed is okay. Mole is okay. It's going to cancel with that. And Kelvin. And we're going to get our temperature in Kelvin. So what was our temperature? 10 degrees. So in Kelvin it would be 10 plus 273. 283 Kelvin. Okay, we look pretty good here. The Kelvins cancel. The moles cancel. Uh, the meters cubed cancel. Kilopascals, we're going to have to multiply by a thousand, right? So what do we have? So when we multiply this by 10 to the 3, the kilo will go and we can cancel the pascals and we will be left with grams. That's what we wanted. So grams here. So we have 18 times 0 0.4 times 1,200 times 4,000 divided by 
times 283. And that gives us, calculator, 14680 grams or 14.68 kilograms. Now we need to do the same thing for ME. We know the units are good, so all we will do is write in. So ME equals 18 times 0 0.6 now. We need to find that, multiply it by whatever temperature it is, 14. So 1,600 times 4,000 divided by 8.3145. And here we have 14 plus 273, four more than this. So 287. And we're going to get grams here. And what is that? That is 28951 grams equal to 28.95 kilograms. So our answer is M equals 28.95 minus 14.68, which would be 14.27 kilograms. That's that.